My name's Aya and I'm a civil engineer and I'm here at the IC today, the home of civil engineering. Today I'm going to be telling you about a project that connects communities. I'm going to tell you about the Kung Tong Line extension in Hong Kong in Great China. The Kung Tong Line extension is the extension of the MTR rapid transit network in Hong Kong. The MTR mass transit railway is Hong Kong's public transport network consisting of rail and bus to deliver efficient transport. The MTR was first operational in 1910 and since then it has undergone many extensions and improvements to enhance the commuter experience. It now boasts 11 rail lines serving 5.59 million people in Hong Kong. The Kung Tong Line is commonly known as KTE and it extends the existing line from Yao Man Tai to Ho Man Tin and the previously unconnected Wao Man Pao. The extension was needed due to huge community demand. According to the MTR's Corporation Limited State, who commissioned the project, there were 107,000 people using the MTR line daily. Therefore, the new rail line serves the growing numbers whilst reducing road congestion and reducing train journey times. Based on the need, the construction began on the 25th of July 2011, opening for service on the 23rd of October 2016, costing 5.3 billion Hong Kong dollars, comparable to 510 million pounds. Civil engineers design and deliver the Kung Tong Line extension. It consisted of 2.4 kilometres underground, so the construction included lots of tunnelling, but I bet you didn't know that the first tunnel was constructed by the Egyptians and the Babylonians 4,000 years ago. It was constructed to connect the Royal Palace and the Temple of Jove in Babylon with a length of one kilometre, a width of 3.5 metres and a height of 4.5 metres. Now let's see how this compares to the Kung Tong Line extension. The Kung Tong Line extension is 44 metres deep and it's 17 metres high and it's 12 metres wide, so a lot larger and a lot deeper. So since the Egyptians and the Babylonians, tunnel construction methods have come on a long way. So now we have extensive tunnel boring methods such as mechanical cutting, cut and cover, immersed tunneling, tunnel boring machines, so TBMs, as used in Tideway in London, and also the new Austrian tunneling method. These developments have allowed for large projects like the Gung Tong Line and also Tideway here in London. The Gung Tong Line had many challenges that the civil engineers had to overcome. One of those was the nature of the soil. So it went from being softer up to the top to being hard rock at the end. So the top section they excavated using mechanical cutting methods and then the deeper sections they used blasting methods, which obviously wouldn't have been suitable for the top anyway because Hong Kong is highly densely populated. The other challenge is the engineers faced with health and safety. So one of the ways they did this is that they implemented a mechanical ventilation system, which enabled regulating the temperature, the humidity and the air velocity while ensuring that key pollutants were managed, as well as managing and mitigating against the risk of fire. Now, I'm not a tunnel engineer, I'm a civil engineer working in flood and coastal risk management, but that's okay, because I can get excited about all the other aspects of civil engineering, and I do. Because civil engineering is all about shaping the world and making it a better place for you, for me, for everybody. Civil engineering benefits us all, and it's awesome.